So a while back, I started playing the Marooned campaign by Moon Marooned. I played the first episode, and I had a good time. And, you know, I played this so long ago. I went back and I watched the video footage of it, and I was like, man, you know, I'm, I'm not the greatest Doom player in the world, but I sucked even more back then, and it really showed. I've learned a lot since then, and so I feel like that, you know, today's playthrough is going to be kind of a contrast as compared to the first one, but... In any case, I wanted to come back and revisit the Maroon campaign and, and try to make a little headway there. So we're on episode two now of Moon Maroon campaign. Uh, Moon Maroon's campaign, of, it's called the Maroon campaign. And the episode's called Wishing for Double E1M2. Uh, continue your pursuit of Olivia through the cultist labs and discover their secrets. Four lives with checkpoint. That's right, this board had a life system on it that I just, and I barely beat it the last time. So like I said, I'm, I'm hoping to do a little better today. Uh, let's look at that author profile. So Moon Marooned has accumulated to this point one day and eight hours of SnapMap playtime and 668,000 SnapMap points, published 12 total maps. If I'm not mistaken, I, I think off the top of my head, the Maroon campaign has four episodes in it. And uh, for those who aren't familiar with the story, but it, the first episode at the very least sort of basically follows the the episode structure of of the main campaign. It uses a lot of the audio from the uh, the main campaign and tells roughly the same story. So you know, and, you know, not that Doom is a very narrative driven <laughs> game in general uh, and snap maps in particular. But you know, if, if you're just kind of wondering what to expect, we've discovered in the first episode the, uh, the whole. Uh, plot point with Olivia Pierce uh, sort of admitting all of the things that she's been doing and now we're going to pursue her through the cultist labs and discover their secrets so let's go ahead and wish for double in the second episode of the Maroon campaign broadcast system manual uplink cool all right we'll we start things off in the elevator enough applicants and our faith is nothing without believers we cannot conduct our work without them how unfortunate for you. This hell wave will redirect the course of mankind. On this day, we make our contribution to their cause. Our salvation lies with them. So you say. All right, so... Oh, more messages. I pulled you from that tomb in the Cadinger Sanctum for this reason. I know she was weak. Our work doesn't come without risks. And I released you from your prison to help mitigate those risks. Okay. I knew that in the event of a catastrophe, you'd be the only thing that could stop them. That's my job description. He read my resume. Look for clues in the chapel. Dr. Hayden. Look for clues in the chapter. Uh, a chapel on Olivia's whereabouts. Okay, are you done talking, Vega? Okay, apparently not. Okay, cool. All right. Whoa, hello. Hey guys. Alright. So, one thing that the the, uh, the original uh, chapter of the Moon Maroon campaign taught me, check your weapon wheel. Okay, so, uh, we are currently equipped with a chainsaw, shotgun, pistol, uh... Assault rifle and plasma. And you know what? Just for funsies. Let's see how far I can get with the pistol. I, uh... Yeah, I'm still wishing there was a, uh... Something on the, uh, HUD that showed me how many lives I had. Ooh! And <laughs> now I have a rocket launcher. Cool. Not complaining. We all have doubts from time to time. I am not questioning my faith, buddy. Yeah. There. I feel about your faith. Alright, you questioning your faith, buddy? Alright, now it's time to switch to some bigger ordnance. Don't run through the fire. It's going to be a very short uh, adventure if I keep doing silly things like that. Alright, get that health, get that health. That's what I meant to do. Okay. Keep forgetting. Life driven. Okay. Alright, okay, cool. They're, they're dropping goodies on death. Alright, I'm happy with that. That makes me happy. 
I do so like the pinatas. All right, so. If you're losing faith, do not influence others. All right, so one thing I've noticed is usually when people use the church, they use it as a gank opportunity. Um, I respect that. Uh, that is not the case this time. No, we're just gonna. We are in media res. We are just gonna go ahead and uh, get things started. I can. I can roll with that. All right, but I do know, however. Because this is a room people love to set up ganks in, I'm not going to grab the key until at least I've explored a little bit. Just to kind of get a sense of my bearings here. We got some goodies over here. Alright, let's grab that blue key. So, okay. Alright, hi Pinky. Nah, I'm happy. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Oh, pfft. He's got smart on me. Just trying to see if I can get him to run into the barrel. You know, not because I necessarily had to, but, you know, for funsies. Sometimes it's fun to just mess around with the pinkies. Make them... Like, uh, a couple of fun things I've discovered. I think it was Taylorhead I was talking to, who mentioned that one of his favorite things to do when he's just fooling around in, in the snap map creator is set up a scenario where you just have a pinky that just mows down a bunch of unwillings you know like and so ever since that discussion like i've been inspired to like see how, how much fun i can have you know sort of turning pinkies loose on their own dudes All right, there we go. That was weird. Okay. Fun with clipping! All right. Oh, boy. All right. Let's not uh, engage a big old room full of idiots straight on anymore, huh? There we are. <laughs> Alright, any more? Any more? Come on, guys. You can do it. Oh, there we go. No, you can't. You're not allowed. Alright. Voice com. Hi, Sam. Hell portal is behind the chapel, but Olivia locked the doors with the yellow clearance. Find the yellow key and find her. So I'm guessing the yellow key is going to be behind that uh, blue door I saw earlier. Let's do ourselves a little bit of the old back to the track here. This. Another thing I remember from uh, the uh, the other marooned map is <laughs> you. <laughs> congratulations, kid! You played yourself. <clears throat> but that's one thing I remember from the other uh, maroon map is uh, all the fun we had with uh, putting uh, colors in the boards, and it just ends up uh, just adding just a, a neat little neat little spice. I dig it. It looks cool. <clears throat> All right. Of course, you. There we go. All right. So I got my. Uh, is that it? Oh no! More of you, wieners. Okay. Let's... Where are you going? You. <laughs> you. <laughs> You are not walking your way out of this ass whooping, buddy. No, it, no, no. You just stay put. Okay, here we go. Oh. Ugh. More explosion, Bukaki. Alright. Some other people that got caught in the, uh, the explosion, Bukaki, there. Alright, how are we doing on ammo? Doing pretty good. Please bring all remaining <laughs> specimens to the B-Wing for disposal. There we go. Woof! I was doing so well there for a little while. Alright. Let's, uh... There we go.
sometimes. It's and it, I, a lot of times I, I, I've, I've been learning to remember that you, there are other weapons in my arsenal besides my personal favorites. And you know, like I said, I love me this. I love me some shotgun, and uh, probably to a fault. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, that was glorious. Bless this board for creating all these fun little exploding moments. Like, oh my god. Alright. I think what I want to do is head back upstairs here because I saw a berserk. And <laughs> we'll just take a moment to get rid of you. Alright, let's have some fun with Berserk! Oh man, I'm just whiffing it here. There we go. Pig. Okay. Alright, there's that red key. Caught a glimpse of it in a rare moment of me actually paying attention to my surroundings. Oh. In a more common moment of me screwing myself up. Okay, that kind of worked out. <laughs> so I'll just pretend like I meant to do that. Sure. missiles too. Ha ah. ha. <laughs> yeah. Oof. Wow. Um, I'm going to just give myself a little pat on the back for that. Like, I honestly, that is... Like, the first time I played uh, Moon, uh, the, the first episode of the Moon Maroon campaign, like... That is exactly the kind of scenario where I would have, like, lost a life. And I didn't. And, oh, there is somebody over here still. Okay, well, there. Now, if I could continue my gloating about my uh, my improved skill at this game, I, uh, yeah, I would like to just go ahead and say that, yeah, under normal circumstances, that would have been the death of me right there. And, or at least one death of me. I have four deaths in this map. But, you know, hey, self-improvement. It's fantastic. All right, so we got the red key. Are you a thing? All right, you are not a thing, and off we go to the next adventure. Oh yeah, here we go, red door. <laughs> All right, well, looks like your 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 blood containment pipes have sprung a leak. Uh, you might want to get that checked. Uh, okay, ooh, super shoddy. Okay. Oh, there's a gore nest. Right, we're gonna switch back to the regular shoddy just momentarily until this guy comes along. Yeah! Yeah! Huh. Alright. Happy times! Okay, so just a real quick explore of this area. Uh, just to make sure... Get some more ammos. I'm seeing a lot of ammo pickups here. I'm, I'm probably looking at a... Uh, Right thorough bum fuzzling any moment now, so let's just stock up now while I still can. Alright, I think no place to go but down from here. Yeah, that's that this is that area that uh <laughs> I played a map yesterday called Grand Theft Doom that had me in Baron of Hell mode. Fun fact, if you're in Baron Hell mode down here, you cannot get out. You are trapped. That's uh 
The Baron of Hell does not have a double jump and can't jump high enough to get out of this area. So there's a there's a fun fact for you right there. All right, let's do this. Hi, tumor. Let me cure you. All right, I'm not sure I want to still be down here. All right, guys, guys, come on. Oh boy, even more of you jack and apes. All right, jerkies, let's do this. Come on, come on, come on. A little closer, a little closer, come on. Come get me, come on. Whoa, oh. That's right, there's teleporters in this thing. I seem to have picked up a shotgun mod somewhere. I was not aware that that happened. Not complaining. This is not complaining. This is observing. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Hi, buddy. Why don't you come here? Why don't you come over here and say that? Yeah, that's why I think you're stupid rocket launchers, buddy. They aren't as nice as mine. Just because there's more of them doesn't mean a thing, buddy. Oh, hi. <laughs> Alright. Oh boy, we're getting a little low on the shotgun ammo. I'm gonna have to trade. I'm gonna have to switch up my tactics. I don't know how much I love doing that. Yeah, I'm gonna take care of you as quickly as possible. Trust me. Health and oh yeah, I said why don't I just switch to the super shotty for just a little while at least. There we go. Alright, back to you. Whoa! Whoa! Ooh, got caught on the wall there for a second. And that's me dead once. Finally. Hey, again, personal best. Personal best. Pretty sure I died a lot sooner when I played the first chapter. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that didn't work. What happened? Okay. Any more? Any more? Anybody else want to make any uh, smart alecky uh, attacks at my expense here? Huh? Huh? Okay, I'm here and I felt some vibrate, so. And we're right by a fire, so I can uh, make myself some idiot soup while I'm at it. And I'll jib you for the asshole casserole. Hmm. There we are. Next, perhaps? Alright, so... Anybody else trying to get froggy? Anybody? 
Doggone right. Okay. Okay, so the uh, keep cargo clear door is the one that's open. And I get turned around a lot in this uh, particular module. So, oh, hey, alright. Dig me! Okay. I like the use of the cutscene to kind of let me know what direction I'm supposed to be going because as I showed off earlier, I get turned around easily, so. Especially in these... Okay, evacuate immediately. I would like to, but I'm being denied access to this door. Can we do something about that? Oh, lovely smoke. Alright. Hi, Origin. Uh, okay. Alright. Fine, let's do this. Ooh, and he's got nostrils with him. Well, uh... Oh. Oh, jeez. Gang bastard. Ah, doggone it. That's life number two gone. Alright. Try again. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, first things first. I'm taking care of you. Now. It's just, uh... Put the kibosh on that immediately. Um, oh, okay, fine. I think he was expecting me to do that. And now it's two regular Mancabuses. And a bunch more. Lost souls, lovely. Okay, well, I can just say goodbye to all my lives, apparently. Okay, come on, come on. Health goodies, health goodies, thank you. Alright, get him, get him, get him! Yes! More health yums. Yum. Oh man, I missed out on another potential glory kill over there. I do not like this darkness. Oh, what? I thought I had four lives. I'm pretty sure that's only the third time I died. Yeah, it says right there in the description, four lives, but I'm almost positive I only I got three lives. So, not sure what happened there. Hmm. In any case, uh, that was that was fun, you know. I'm I'm not I, I unfortunately don't have a lot of time to do recording during the day, so I don't I, I don't really have the ability to go back and try it again. I may do that on my own time just to try to score a little better on the uh, the scoreboard there. But uh, yeah, that was a wild map there, and I like how it kind of subverted some of the expectations there. Like I thought, okay, Cyber Mancubus, and he must be he must be like a boss, and you know I I saved the chainsaw for exactly this situation. So yeah, you chainsaw him, and it's like no no. No, 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 this was just the beginning. And so, I, unless, unless, and this is just another theory, uh, I don't know for certain, I'm wondering if Moon Maroon set that encounter up so that it had phases that at like 33% damage, some guys pop, and another 33%, some guys pop. And what ended up happening was by chainsawing him at the beginning, I, I basically unlocked all those phases to happen at once, which is highly possible. And so basically what I was fighting was I was like fighting, you know, two waves worth of baddies all at once, you know, and that's sort of why I got super blitzed there. Uh, you know, either way, uh, you know, very challenging map. Uh, you know, I had my fun with it and that's all that matters. So yeah, if you want to uh, check out this as well, it's Wishing for Double. It's the second part of the Moon Maroon campaign. That's map ID PT4C FCFG. Um, I personally, I like this one. I like this chapter better than the first one. Uh, you know, and I did like the first one. Don't get me wrong, uh, but I mean, I think part of it too is that I my my skill level is a little higher than it was the last time I played uh, a, a Maroon campaign map. So that could be part of it. But whatever the reason, this is fun, and I I will recommend it to others.